When I create an ad or a sidebar in which I have a number of items which are grouped together and I want to give information about the individual items, I often do that by drawing a line from the object to the text down below or to the side wherever I want to place it. One of the problems I see young designers doing though when they're creating this sort of a graphic is they are using a lot of individual lines because they are using the line tool. A bit, and the problem with doing this is that if I want to move anything over, the items aren't connected. Also, if I want to make the um, lines different sizes. So if I want to pump this up to say, you know, five points, I'm going to have to do each one of those individually, or I could do this and grab them, but it does cause some problems. A better way to do this is to use the pen tool. And with the pen tool, I can simply click. If I hold down shift, it will keep it in a straight line or it will constrain the line to the nearest 45 degrees. So in this case, I'm going to make a right angle, a 90 degree angle, but because I'm somewhere near 45, it's going to keep it at the nearest 45 degrees. So I'm going to continue to hold down shift and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click right here. What I might decide I'm going to do is pull down a blue line and remember I do that by simply just going up here to the ruler, coming right up here, and just pulling down. And I can get a little line that's going to show me where this is going to go. So now I can make this whole thing just a little bit longer by just pulling it and everything moves together. And for somehow I change the color on that. There we go. Okay, so there is my line at half a point. Now, what I can do is I'm actually going to pump this up to about two points so it's a little bit easier for you to see. It's a nice black line. And with this, I want to stylize it a little bit. And I'm going to start out by doing that by going over to the stroke button with my object selected. Now remember with stroke, whenever you have three lines up here, and usually it will come up like this, um, I can hold down on it and show options and I can hold more. So three means there's more behind it. And I can tell it now, because this is selected, that at the very beginning I want to have a circle and at the end I want to have a solid circle. And this lines up really nicely. This looks a little too much like a computer circuit board though, um, a diagram of a circuit board. So I'm going to curve these edges a little bit. And I can do this by selecting the shape once again and coming up to my control panel up here and saying I want to move this 0.25 and instead of a square corner, I want it to be a rounded corner. And as I do it, I get a nice little curve there. And obviously, the more I pump this up, and if I don't know what effect it's going to give me, I can give it a lot of curve or I can bring it just down here to a little curve. And I do exactly the same thing for my other items. Notice what happens though when I select my pen tool again. These have all reverted to the default so that I only have to select all of these things once before I select my pen tool. I'm going to go to my direction tool and type the letter V to do that. And now I can change this to 0.25. I can change this to rounded, my corners to rounded. I'm going to make my weight two points. I'd probably make it a point or a half a point depending on the type of paper that I was working with. Round circle, round circle, or circle solid. And now when I choose my pen tool, I can click, hold down shift to keep it to the nearest 45 degree angle, shift, click, and then bring it straight down to that nice blue line. I can click here and it does line up with just the center of that right now. So this is looking pretty good. And I can continue to do this for each 
of my objects, always holding down shift and constraining them. And when I'm done, I can always um, click off of this and change these back to zero and change them if I wish. So that is how to create lines with variations and just pump up your artwork a little bit more.